Uh, so we're doing our egg drop uh, experiment. Like experiment today. You think it'll work? I think it will, yeah. Okay. Okay, so you can't you can't bend down, you just gotta drop it from up there, okay? Alright, ready? Three, two, one. Okay, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Oof, painful. All right. Do I can go from higher? Uh, higher? No. If Michael was here, he'd climb to the peak and drop it for you. All right, let's see what we got. Matt, yours is open. Let's see. You guys get yours open. Matt, did it survive? Yes, oh, it my did. goodness. I think it did. I think so. Untape it. See if it had any cracks in it. Okay. Oh, you had a box in a box. Oh, your oh, yeah. strings. So let like go. it would. So it would like kind of. So it like bounce with the strings. Yeah. What do you have on it? So what? Uh, like, I put like a little bit of glue. Holy cow! Is it just covered it with sawdust? It's glue on the egg. Yeah. And then you covered it with sawdust mm -hmm. and tape. That tape on there. Oh uh, yeah. Like. And then it was just a whole box of sawdust. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! Hey, well, hey, take yeah. your tape off. See if there's any cracks. Uh, oh my gosh, you didn't, you did an Easter egg with styrofoam <laughs> with another egg and an egg that looks angry. Intact egg. Yeah, all right. Egg master, egg master. Pretty sure you're an egg master. <laughs> Lewis, is this your new sawhorse? Yeah, basically. Huh. You gotta use what you gotta use. Make the best out of it. How's your finger? Where's the hole? Right there. You took a turn. I had a turn. It's your turn again. No. And I see you're using your saw, so I'm sure it won't take you long. This is true. Okay. This is true. My hand's doing good still. Thanks for asking. Ready? Three, two, one. How's your hand? Oh, it's sore. Okay. Yeah, thanks. What are you building? A wall. So we have to, what, finish the floor? You yep. have to frame in the walls, put in insulation, and then we're doing shiplap. Yeah. Oh, and you gotta run wiring. Yeah, they gotta do the wiring, yeah. So, about two years we should be able to use the room. That's pretty generous. What are you, what are you doing now? Because you said you were going to work on the floor, but you're staring at the ceiling. I know. I'm just figuring out how to frame this part in and yeah, I'm just seeing some problems coming up that I didn't calculate. Tracker. However, I will figure out a way. Because what I'll end up doing here is I'll put some, some two by fours going this way, like, mm -hmm. you know, some studs mm -hmm. up and down. Okay. And then I'll go basically. Well, at least there'll be some studs out here. You better believe okay. it. Yep. Okay. Because when I'm not here, there's no studs. Okay. Oh, okay. So. So, were you gonna extend that closet? It needs to be done. I'm glad that I can come help you. But I'm thinking about just adding it later. Why later? Because I don't want to do it now. Are you still liking your new nesting box? Holy cow. Well, there's an egg, but you're laying on your egg. Okay, we'll get it later. Holy cow, how many eggs are you laying on? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Another one back. <laughs> Hello. Where are you hoarding everybody's eggs? I'm not putting my fingers in there. Are you a good chicken, Mama? Are you a good chicken, Mama? Okay. Well, I guess we'll come back for those later. More eggs from the chickens. They are laying a ton. 
we'll get these cleaned up. Let's see how our little frog is doing. Oh, oh I just swam to the bottom. See him? Oh, I'm about to dump my eggs. My little frog. He hangs out on this log. Unless he gets scared. He had some frog friends, but Peter put chlorine in the water, and then his friends floated. Oops. So, chlorine and frogs don't mix. Just thought somebody should know that. Uh, boys, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Why are you hitting the ball towards the road? Because if we hit it that way, we're going to hit the stuff and we don't want to break it. You'll hit what? The barn. If we go You'll hit the barn if you go the other way, okay? That's it? That's well, it? Well, do you want us to hit your stuff? Well, no, I don't want you to hit my stuff, but I don't want your stuff to get hit out in the road either. Okay, well, this is um, probably why girls live longer than boys. Yeah. Just saying. Who's winning? Uh, I think I am. I'm at 10. Adam is at what? Adam's at zero. Matt is at... Matt, what are you at? Uh, he didn't answer me, but I'm winning. You're winning. Mm -hmm. You don't know what his score is, but you're winning? No, he usually... Three. He's at three. He's I'm at, at three. ten. You're at ten. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Nate helped me plant our clearance plants that we got. This is Sylvester Coropsis. Coropsis. Hmm, not sure how to pronounce that exactly. Normally, $7.48, we got for $3. Still looks pretty healthy. We'll see what they do. We got three of those. So we've, we have purchased the clearance plants before this one actually these two purple spike I'm not sure the name of these we bought those last fall for three dollars they used to be that size and they've grown into this this year so don't hesitate to buy some other clearance plants for your landscaping I just want to be in the video <laughs> hey Pete did you fix the lawnmower I did look at this look at this fancy thing I saved you Oh, that's nope. how you fixed it? I saved you. Oh, let's see your professional work. Five cents at the hardware store. Now let me tell you, five cents goes a long way. Is that a seed clamp? Yeah, I think it's a thing. So, um, to me, it's a nut for now. But you yeah. just needed a little <laughs> nut and a bolt, but instead we have this yeah. seed clamp it also, on What it also does, it's a multi-purpose, you see, because oh. if I'm getting too close to the fence, oh, you know. Oh, it just gouges the fence. That's how you know. There's a little, yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, so the yard's all mowed. Nope. 25% <laughs> of it is. So, you don't want to mow the yard two acres with this? Uh. No? No, no. Well, I guess you shouldn't have broke the riding lawnmower then. You know what? That's a different video. So, uh, stay tuned. No. <laughs>
sorry, we were rudely interrupted. Lewis. What? We're making a video here. Yeah, right, hold on. We're trying to get famous. Watch your fingers. Yep, watch. So. Seriously. Are you done? I'm done. Okay. So it's not a different video. It's actually this video. Oh. Okay. What happened to the riding lawnmower? Pete? I don't have my talking points, so I can't. Let's see, if I recall right, the kids went running through the house saying the lawnmower is smoking. That did happen. Okay. <laughs> and then I found you standing out there looking serious. That, yeah, that happened. And then I remembered seeing oil all over my yard. That did happen. Okay. Yep. I'm remembering this now. Okay. Slowly. And then I remembered it wouldn't run anymore. That is true. It's actually in the garage right now. Because I think somebody didn't check the oil. I don't know who that and is. And seized up the engine. I'm going to find out who that is for you. So this is your new lawnmower. Have fun. <laughs> you can ride it. <laughs> yeah, you could ride it. If you if you put that on there, I'm sure you could rig up something else. Who oh, yeah. You, who Probably could. could. could oh, you could hook it to the UTV and just drive circles. <laughs> <laughs> just hold down the bar up there and the, the blades will stay engaged. See? You've been hanging out with him too long. <laughs> okay. Well, here's the new two-acre lawnmower. Till we figure out the other one. Nancy She's broke. a beaut. I know. What is that? Like a oh, 22 inch cut. Well, that'll that won't take you any time at all. No, six hours probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pete, son, honey, what are you doing? Let me just say, don't go out and look at it. I forgot to do this. Yeah, I'm gonna say, who skips a board? Me. Need to go this way a little bit more. Up. Hammer. For a Hammer. screw. For a screw? Oh, the board. Thank you. Nate. Oh. There. I was a little worried. Uh, I was working on getting a dub and I don't Do not to <laughs> touch your eye after cutting up cayenne peppers to dehydrate. I think I pepper sprayed myself while dehydrating for the first time. I am miserable. My nose is running. Melt. Throw milk in your eyes, it works. I've never dehydrated before. <laughs> I don't think I ever will again. Not peppers. Can you see it? Is it red? I feel like my face is out to here. It doesn't look too bad. So but... I cut up the peppers, went like this. I'll never do that ever again. When you do that and you rub it in your face and then your husband goes, oh, I should have told you those were super spicy. You shouldn't do that. But he didn't say that. And then, and then says, quick, throw your head underwater. So now I'm all wet. Yeah, the water spread it all over my face, especially like right here. Like my face is swollen out to here. Don't, don't run your head underwater when you have spicy peppers, the one from this side to that eye, and now it's down my face and into my mouth. So while I was drowning under the kitchen faucet, I said, research what else we can use because that's not working. Milk, milk worked. And then I even had some Dawn dish soap to scrub my face. I don't know what finally worked, but it finally calmed down. Death peppers, that's what those things are. I'm never growing them again. Okay, I will, but I'm not trying to. He can do that now. Look how swollen it is. Look how red they are. <laughs> I feel like I have a horrible sunburn. Look at that. Look at that. I'm glad it's not family photo day or something. Right, dear? Yes. But now I'm behind on making my lunch. <laughs> Well, I'm glad I'm a priority. <laughs> <laughs>